Hey everybody, good morning. James with River Lunacy. We're out here on the Ohio River today. Got a little bit of flow coming down from 27.3, uh, which is still going to create some flow, just that drop. Um, I don't like dropping rivers, but we got the flow, so that means I'm going to do some drifting. I'm going to make one pass back in this area. It's uh, between 50 and 44 feet. A little bit of up and down, a little bit of snags here and there, some of that kind of fun stuff. We're going to drop down eight ounce sinkers on Carolinas for six rods, and we're going to use some fresh shad I just caught, gizzard shad, and I got one big skipjack. Uh, today's Father's Day. Happy Father's Day, everybody. Sunday. I don't want to be out here all day because I know the pleasure boaters are going to drive me nuts. So I want to try to get me a couple fish before they get going. Go home, take a nap, and go out and eat dinner with my little girl. Be right back. All right, guys. We're just I just dropped a bunch down. Came out of 40 or uh, 50 foot. I'm in 45 now. I'm gonna run it for a little bit. Got a lot of activity. So all I'm doing, I'm just dropping them straight down. That's an eight ounce sinker. I prefer eight. I guess you don't have to use it depending on your water, but that really keeps me nice and straight. Sometimes you might have to use a 10 or even more. Uh, so it hit bottom. I run it down, my rod down in the water a little bit, and I just bounce it, make sure I'm hitting bottom, I'm all straight. Then I lift it straight up. That way I know from a foot or two under the water up to however high my rod holder is, that's how high my bait is up off the bottom. And then I can adjust as I go. This is a lot of the stuff I fish is not a real perfect straight. So you're up and down some out here on the Ohio. In this stretch anyway. Not everybody stretch, of course. And then... Uh, with the um, trolling motor, I just keep myself around a half mile an hour, maybe a little bit more, a little bit less, depending, you know. And I will hit the north setting off and on, but I'm in a turn, so even if I hit the north, it'll still go. I'm actually getting a bite right here as we speak. He's going to get it. Nope, he's not going to get it. He missed it. Oh well, he'll be back or somebody else will, right? So that's what I'm doing here. I'm trying to hurry up and kind of get my groove on before this current gets out of here. I just moved in a lot. I need to move out fast or I'm going to get snagged up. I wasn't looking, now I'm at 39. Bad, bad. I had a request about what it looks like when they come up after the bait all these scrambling lines here that's them I just got blasted on two rods they didn't hook up so you know there's one guys good one let him go that's a good one Good fish. That's a really hard takedown. Burn and drag, man. Spot lock real quick here. That's on a skipjack head, I believe. Oh, he's right next to that other line. Good 
good fish for a day. Happy Father's Day to me. How about that? Take it. There we go. Fish on. Nailed it hard, too. fish guys <laughs> I love drift fishing it's almost when you least expect it it's another decent little fish Blemishes on her face. Let's let her go. Chop up another piece of bait real quick. the bottom of the mouth, cutting them in half, putting that hook up through the middle of the head, about like that, Let's slime off of there. That's about what it looks like right there, 10 knot, some have nines, this one's got a 10. It's bait. on the way down man I just moved and spot locked I went to pull that back up I thought I was snagged fish grabbed that 35 foot getting ready to start another drift that is so funny I mean I put it right in his mouth flatty I dropped it and went to lift it and then I thought I was snagged. Beautiful little guy. Let's let him go. Maybe they want this.
Come on, baby, go. There he is, guys. Man, did he clobber that. Uh-oh. Oh. We'll stay on him. Yep. We've been waiting on this one. I'm going to spot lock in a second here. Just so I can pay attention to this fish. He really seemed like a go-getter, you know what I mean? Normally I would just keep on rolling, but this guy seems to be like a nice fish. In a different section right now. And I've been, I've ran a really long ways. I'm just now starting to mark a few fish. Yeah, we got a good one here. We got a good one. This is on a chunk of skipjack. And I'm telling you what, he is staying down. Let's hope we can keep him out of that other line. I don't really want to take my hands off this rod and wind that one up. Just, I don't want to lose any pressure on him. Feels like a good one finally. Definitely the biggest one for the day. Maybe the last couple trips. Yeah, this is a solid fighting fish right here. I mean, he is just staying down. I see him on the graph. He's a big dog. If that's him. Oh, I got a barge coming close, too. No, he's in that other line. Oh yeah. Goodness. Come on, come on. Oh man. Oh, he's in it. Oh, he's all in it. Gosh darn it. I don't even care. He's coming in too. Hope we don't lose our rod. Gosh darn it. I knew that was going to happen. I asked for that. Did that to myself, guys. That's a nice one. Oh. Yep. That's what we come for. That's what we're looking for. I just broke my line off. That was tangled up. Man, what a fight. That was a tough fish. I'll be right back. Let me get this mess straightened out here. We'll get him out. Oh, yeah. Oh. 30 pounder guys. All right. Got a couple pictures of her. I'm gonna let her go. Oh. Woo! Love it. Alright guys, it's the end of the day for me. It was a short one, but we got a good one. Actually, a couple. I got one. I don't know if I got it on camera. I've been slacking there. Bad camera guy lately. But uh, it's Father's Day, and there's a bunch of people out, so that's all right. Good for them. But that means it's time for me to go. Getting hungry anyway, and I didn't bring no salami sandwich today. Do me a favor. Hit that thumbs up. Leave all the comments you want. 
If this is your kind of thing, please hit that subscribe button. Really helped me out a lot. Thanks again. Next time.